Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Long War of the Chosen Legendary Iron Man playthrough with Operation Frozen Rage, where we're trying to recover an item only against seven to nine enemies. We're getting intel on top of it, which is great. What's not so great is undying loyalty and the loss, so a lot of zombies in this particular mission. Let's let's launch it and give it a go. Good. Landed. Ten rounds in the relatively large map. Not 100% sure if this is going to be to our advantage or against it. Team is moving up. Shattered Realm is the first one to move in. All right. Martin X X Roth moves in as well. Hayward. Double time. And hail up. Let's go, boys. Wow, that was a big first move. Seeing our very first enemies. Understood. Moving out. Exenroth is going in further. I have eyes on the enemy. Heading out. Halop moves up. I think we can just double move at this point, <laughs> and we can. Destroy half of the building. We'll that is fun. Move, move, move. Ataxia moves up as well, ready uh, to get some. What is this? A single guy all by himself? Let's see. Fifty eight percent, of course, is ridiculously low. And although the disadvantage isn't that bad. I'm still not doing it. This on the other hand could be cool. Going slightly to the back and this should trigger that one pack over there Finally We've got advent here Look at you peekaboo We got All of a sudden, a lot of people interested uh, in our position. Grenadier goes directly into Undying Loyalty. Fantastic. Heavy Gunner. And of course, you wouldn't have guessed it. Good old undying loyalty. Copy that. Moving up with Halo. 
Luckily, drones can't also have undying loyalty, which would be absolutely hilarious if they could. Just imagine it for a second. Just going to wait. Lost might come up not this round, but next the round after next round. So after we finish our next turn, they will likely come up. That's what I'm trying to say. God damn it. Okay, well, beautiful, beautiful. Zombies down. Drone is down. Ataxia. Still remains hidden for now. Gets us the loot because I want loot. Depth perception. I've got the loot. And an auto loader, great. Hostile the extra hostile forces are not so great. I need an evac here. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. We don't overwatch. We don't overwatch. And there's the lost swarm. Taxia might be spot spotted out. We've definitely now triggered the entire map. <laughs> Berserker moves into Grappler. Grappler teaches him a good lesson. Hilarious. Berserker becomes enraged and just doesn't like it at all. There's the spot out. starting with uh, killing that master sergeant here good ataxia does have blade storm but not counter strike should have put you right next to the berserker up finds the flank and uses it hey up 
Finds the flank. And that was very, very good. Unfortunately... Didn't kill enough. Um, kill into kill into potential kill. One quick slice. Reaper. That's going to be an interesting turn. One. I figured that that might happen. Stupid undying loyalty. This will trigger one retaliation. Takes here, <clears throat> gets an ISLA protocol. And we're taking down Desha. I was hoping we would injure, uh, injure it. But that's not the case, in which case, uh, let's try to hit him. Okay, we have really gotten the absolute maximum out of Reaper. Command over. And we're ready for counter strike if needed. Berserker will go for the closest target. And there's the counter strike. Pam. Also, the Berserker nicely blocked the way for the zombie. Who's keeping score? Tired of waiting around. Good, last enemy, aka Berserker. We don't want to stand too close to the Berserker with the heavy guns because uh, they are taking penalties on close range. Nailed him. Could use some ammo. I should be out there hunting. Okay, well, that was a very lively couple of ra uh, rounds here. There better be something there. System infiltration in progress. Hacking the chest.
And sure, let's get more intel. The reduction is always good. That's effectively 33 intel at least. Very good. Okay, so everybody is already waiting at the finish line. Let's do this. Much easier than expected. Part of it was also the absolute rampage that Ataxia did, where he essentially just man moded through all of uh, them. And to be honest, this could have been overall uh, worse with the loss we were. And so far, lucky that uh, mm, they came at the right time. Their positioning was really, really uh, well done enemies focused completely on them and all we needed to do was just clean up this is firebrand it's time to go it's not always happening like that uh hypnography no there is not even any loot that we could that we could get from here Good. Everybody should get a promotion anyways, and Ataxia got his promotion on top of it, which is absolutely great if you think about it. So we're just getting a full-fledged promotion, and they even gave us two ability points. Game is too good to us. Game is too good to us. Chef Kiss, that was a great mission. There you go, see? Nice. Okay, free flashbang. Uh, I'll take that, that is great. I like interference. It has helped us a lot of times. The field surgeon isn't bad as well. But I think we're going with interference again. It has just worked very well for this playthrough. Shredder, yes please. Alright, Ataxia. Plenty of cool skills that we would have. Uh, Blade Master, he took Executioner over Combative. I don't know if that was a mistake or not. Blade Storm Reaper worked very well. If you hit with melee uh, during your turn, you gain a bonus move. That is not bad. Whirlwind. Range attacks uh, deal more damage. No, I think we're going to go with Whirlwind. Uh, the other one is Trade's Craft, right? Yeah, and that just isn't worth it. I've seen documentaries around or kind of yeah, analysis around uh, how much it reduces the infiltration. That's just really not worth it. Um, Smoker. So we got Bring Him On. Uh, which I know we wanted to, uh, to make him a little bit more kind of uh, of a shooter because we had uh, Stiletto, we also had Rupture, so we're saving the points to get either of those skills, bringing on uh, for more damage. This on the other hand isn't bad and we could get it right away. It's maybe even equally good to these. So if we have moved this turn, range attacks gain extra damage. So we could move up and double fire. It's not bad. 
The other alternative, of course, is pistols always. We really haven't given him anything uh, to work with in terms of guns, but that might change. Could give him a shotgun, for instance. Okay, so that, that, that. Uh, covert is good. Yeah, nothing of that is super exciting at the moment. Maybe we'll do pistols for Axenroth. And we got a lot of uh, sergeant, uh, sergeants out of this uh, mission. So that's not bad at all. Halop and Axenroth really like each other, so you should be a team. And as you can imagine, if we're just using looking at squad management, the Imperial Fists, right? Uh, are now a couple of uh, mm, sergeant, 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 sergeant. So there you go. You guys are now on your own. And I would like to create uh, a new squad, which is essentially a new Imperial uh, Fist. Uh, because the Imperial Fists could actually be a real uh, squad. So let's find something that is fitting. No, no, no th those are the Custodies. Hmm. Could uh, also make a squad called the Custodies, but it would not really work uh, well. Uh, let's call these guys here Custodies in uh, training. Uh, so, my Warhammer knowledge is too limited to know a real good, uh, a real good uh, squadron. Let me look that up. Okay, apparently they all are called aspirants um, in most of the squads. Um, so well, it's just going to be the aspirants, which um, Ataxia will lead those. So let's get Ataxia in. There you go. And now what we want to do is squaddy. Lance Corporal, Corporal, Corporal. And all of the new rookies will go through the Aspirants, where Ataxia is hopefully teaching them the ropes. Which brings us to... the actual Imperial Fists. And I have to wonder... Uh, if Axenrod and Halo like each other that much, why wouldn't we have both of them uh, together in a team? Put Lad on top of it. Um, hmm. So, Gunner. Ranger, Shinobi, could put a sniper on top of it, and an assault, and then we just need a specialist. I have to wonder where are all the specialists? Got one almost trained, we need another one. Because the salamanders seem to be missing one as well. Alright, not a full uh, squad yet, but we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Cool, New India begins to finally recruit more. 
thanks to our Haven advisor. That's good. And we're getting more to do. Find a lead. Extremely light. Three days. Oh, we can't do that. We can't do that. Barely, but we can do that. Ultramarines could go in with exactly that team here. We're going to get into an Intel package, but that's heavy. Just out of curiosity. Sixty percent infiltrated. Hmm. Three days, nine hours. That's not a lot. I mean, we could boost it and then it would be okay. But then it is just a mission for a mission and we are not gaining any intel. Hmm. Not the biggest fan of the situation, but I don't know what. I don't want to, uh, this mission to pass by, so maybe we're just going to boost it, or we're actually man moding it with 20 plus. Let me set up the squad. Okay, it's not great, and I will potentially regret spending Intel just to use Intel, but. What's the alternative? Not letting uh, these guys do a mission. So we're boosting this. Let's just get over with it. And that means we're still at 280 into. But at least we're getting a mission. And that means experience and new loot. So net net it will be positive. We're unfortunately also paying the price. In a sense because uh, we will... Um, get a higher vigilance uh, there and now that is great shotgun gun particle weapons thermal lens long ranged all for free this fearsome creature berserker hell weave west the turrets turrets defense matrix that's good And Shredder rounds, which I like. They are good. They are fantastic and give us a different uh, option. So, naturally, we could go powered armor or battle armor, mobile armor, but none of that at the moment. I want it all and I want it right now. Plus my weapons, 14 days. We're going to be well ahead of the curve. It's still August and I am going for plasma weapons. I am very proud to snowball that deeply into our direction. <laughs> oh yeah, very good. Um, so now we do have a thousand and a lot of a lot of uh, options to build. We'll do that once uh, the missions arrive. Good. Shit, ah. not worth uh, scanning that long. Let's shortly go to the black market. I think we might be able to purchase a couple of soldiers. Oh yeah, we are. Very good. I'm going to purchase any of the other stuff. Advent Trooper Corpses, very interested. 
We're still requiring a little bit of those, but getting 230 back. Uh, yeah, thank you. So we got enough cores. Oh, that's good. We're good. We're very good. Um, let's get the two new soldiers up and running and see what we've just acquired. So we got Alejandro Bastard Poetry, a new assault. There you go. Ready and able. I like it. And as a new assault, he got um, Arc Thrower doesn't uh, end your turn. That is great. We're going to take that and therefore also use the Electroshock because that is very good. Close and personal. As a follow up, we could use Fortify or we're using Killer Instinct. And I think we're going with Killer Instinct. And then it's either Formidable or that extra crit chance. Um, Formidable always was very good, specifically due to the um, reduction in explosions. Oh, quick zap is good, but we already got unlimited power and that's more than enough. Um, yeah, we got another nice um, survival ability there. So with that, we should be fine, which means we can take aggression. As a person combats him, I think we're going with advanced speed. You're welcome. Flynn is a shinobi. I haven't had one of those join us in a while because we've trained so many. Good, we got return fire. I like this one here, uh, suffers aim penalties against you, that's fantastic. Blade Master into that, into that, into Blade Storm. Works like a charm, personal combat him, giving him a little bit speed. Good, now in terms of squad management, the Imperial Fists, Ranger, Gunner, Shinobi, could definitely use this in Assault. Already got a Gunner and a Ranger. Yeah, long range and support would be good. But that's not available at the moment. And the Iron Hands still are infiltrating once they're done. We're good. Okay, so that was very beneficial. Appreciate it. We wanted to expand. Let's start with that. And seven days, VIP, get Advent's attention. I really don't like get Advent's attention because what that does, what that means in clear terms is vigilance will uh, drive up massively. It's not a great mission, but we don't have a lot of missions, so might as well do that. At this point, I would be doing almost any mission. Aspirants. Uh, 
look, given that we do have enough um, that we have enough of every class, I don't mind, Hexer, what you're going to be. You are mediocre in most of the stats, which is fine. That's or well balanced would be the right way of not insulting him. Uh, and hence we're just going to take you on that mission and then all of you are going to become one level higher get a promotion let me fix this and get ready okay i'm wondering there might be room for another psi operative right right very good so i think we got a team together I think we got our team together. You guys are going to infiltrate that. And everybody is going to win. Sky Ranger deployed. We're in the pipe. Five by five. Good. Continue making contact. I'm hoping that all of the missions are now going to pop up. There we go. Uh, find enemy pl uh, fight pl uh, plans. Four days, eight hours. Uh, new Australia and New Chile have recruited. Let's do the New Australia and New Chile first. So that's seven and three. Very good. And you do recruitment. Fantastic. Good. Back to the actual mission. This might be a tougher or tighter timeline. So let's see what we can do. We can take out uh, the Haven Advisors and just run a tougher mission. I like that. So Recruitment Haven Advisors, I think you and where's the other recruiter all oh, right over here perfect well we're putting another recruiter in but for the time being this here should be fine the gray knights okay cool are the Grey Knights comfortable with 24 enemies? Um, technically, yes, I think so. I believe we just need to, first of all, give them proper equipment. We got new weapons. All right, let's do this. Okay, the guys got shiny new toys. Coil guns for all of them. And they can hack the workstation, that is fantastic. Let's go back uh, to make contact. Now all of the new missions are finally coming in. That's exactly what I was hoping would happen. Nine days, smash and grab mission. All right. Sometimes also easy missions that are coming in, which is even better. Imperial Fists, uh, let me get a team going. Okay, so Imperial Fists has go have gobbled up a few of the stragglers and I think have come up with a very competent uh, team for that smash and grab uh, activity. Gosh damn it, we are having a lot of missions, but I wanted exactly that, so we're doing very well find the facility lead Setting yes please South Africa. so in terms of missions almost all of them are on missions
Space Wolves would be ready for another one. Four men. Well, that uh, sounds to me like a plan. Just need to upgrade the weapons here real quick. All right, done. And we're good to go. Weapons upgraded. Just made a couple of small adjustments and we're good to go. Yeah, now all of the missions are coming in. Another engineer, and that's the liberation mission. That one is actually very important. So, we want to make sure that we get a good team on it. One training could go in with four. 17 hours, let's let them finish the one training. And select this squad. Just need to do the weapon upgrades. And I think then we're ready to go. Almost it's easy. Six days. Yep, no problem. Okay, so Blood Knights, uh, Blood Angels are ready for deployment. And we do have a lot of missions to take care of. I haven't even scanned more than a day. Good, Vitor. Uh, we do have a shortage on specialists, so give it one more. Good, we'll do that in a second. Uh, that is the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate uh, your viewership and uh, see you all in the next episode. If you like the content, leave a comment and a like down below and see you very, very soon. Bye bye.